syntax and then flew. <laughs> We've been so funny. <laughs> so this is, I go underwater here, correct? Oh, this looks like it might be the seafloor cavern. Nope, okay. Just down and left and down and left. Oh! Pong, Pongers submarine. All right, did I do everything correctly? Let's go find out. Let's see, lumberry, figgy, figgy, lum, lum, lum. All right, let's see, this should be okay. I'm sure I'm gonna get, I'm pretty sure it's like, whenever you walk through the door in this game, they get you. Hello, don't mind me. First of six grunts, or five grunts and an admin. Party time! Hey, I'm partying over here. <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot. This is an easy turn one. I think I don't think we need to fake out here, but I don't really see a reason not to, truthfully. Get a little bit of chip damage in case something were to go super wrong, which it can't really, but like, just in case, I don't know. Just better to get damage down when you can. If there's no cost. Uh, crit here is nice, actually, but it actually doesn't matter either way. Yeah, this should be T-Wave. Yep, okay, that's fine. I need my Lumberry. Room 8 is the best encounter for you. We're not going to do our encounter just yet. We're going to wait until after we beat Juan and Wallace, I think. Um, because we want to use this as a backup for Lapras, I think. But maybe that's a mistake. I don't know. Do you actually have to delay to level 100 to get Lapras? All right, it should be Swampy. It's always is a one-shot. So I will do that. Never misses. This is Bright Hunter Swamper, but this Magical Leaf always hits, which is really nice. Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, what happened? Why, why did that not kill? That was a guaranteed one shot. Oh. Yeah, it's never one. It's, it's a roll. It's a 60.5%. Why did I think that killed? Wait, why did I think that killed? That's not supposed to kill. All right, I was never to, oh, I was dead to Sludge Bomb crit. Uh, okay, that was bad, okay. So now it's always Sludge Bomb me, right? So I can go Muck here, which baits Earthquake, right? Yep, Sludge Bomb. Lumber damage, not too bad. This should be Earthquake. I'm a little worried about Swagger again, truthfully. Go Swagger me. Okay. Sludge Bomb. So I can play this game a couple times if I want. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Okay, big crit. Um, This is already going a little bit off the rails, but I am faster. All right. That was a big Earthquake crit. Um, Because now now I might be in range of Dugong Signal Beam, which is a problem. Um... Do I not fake out? It's bright powder, so if I miss fake out, I lose. Uh, and I'm faster. That being said, this dugong is disable sub king has King's Rock with signal beam. This is actually kind of a problem. Okay, it fails disable. Uh, I guess with King's Rock, this is actually a little bit spooky. Because it can flinch me a bunch. Okay. This is already going kind of off the rails. I just need to play this patient and slow. The thing is that it's not guaranteed to surf me. It can use... Oh, wait, now I'm getting kind of nervous. If that happens again, I'm actually in trouble. Wait a second, this is actually going really badly. Okay. Dog, what?! Okay. And my camera's frozen. Okay, I think maybe I should not be playing today. Something seems wrong with the with the atmosphere. The vibes are definitely off. The issue is what if it disables me here? Okay, it doesn't disable. This should be a winning game for me. Except it's not. <laughs> except apparently I'm losing this. Why am I losing this? I need to get a recover off. Okay. This is really bad. I would love to get some damage down here. Like one surf maybe? Okay, there we go, all right. It might disable me now is the issue. Okay, it's like a four hit KO. It's surfed every time. Do I want to go into, mm, no, I don't want to go into Ludi yet. I'm going to recover. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Dragonite, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, and I'm paralyzed, all right. 
Well, that was not supposed to happen. Okay, now it's always super powering me. So we get to go for, what is the item on this? It's the long barrier, right? It's actually leftover, so I can actually thunder wave it. Okay, she does a ton of damage. Okay. This is getting really spooky really quickly. Okay, the pair is kind of bad, but whatever. Should do about 23%, 20% more or less. Crits me. It's really bad. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I switched in Milo to that because if I switched into. Oh, God, this is really bad. I think I might need to, like, use Lantern for. I think I have to do that one more time because I'm pretty sure Thunder Crit or Superpower Crit can kill me, right? Crit Superpower does 250 max. It's, it's a roll. It's about 5 out of the 16 to kill me with Superpower. Oh, you know what the issue with is with, um. Ah, uh, the issue with paralyzing it is that, like, it's I might get a good roll on my no jellies, but I might get a very bad roll on my lantern if I switch in on the thunder and it gets parried. Okay, no para. Ah, this sucks. Okay, just don't get parried hey, on this champ, one. DK, what's going on with chat today? Just got here, but sending good vibes. Thank bro. you, thank you. Alright, my Milotic is really low. Dugong is now looking pretty scary. God, dude, what?! Alright. What are my odds of getting killed here? And does it ever thunder on me here? Okay, it has to superpower me here. Hang on, I can figure this out. I think I have to risk one crit. I'm risking one crit here. Okay, that's a good roll. Para. Okay, just do not crit me. Do not high roll crit me. <gasps> I'm gonna wipe. Dude, that was a 5 out of 16 roll to kill! Wait, I can't be Dugong anymore! What is this?! It full parrot high roll crit me?! Wait, I actually might wipe, right? Okay, hang on. Cause the loot it went, why did it switch? Okay, hang on, I can do this. I can still do this. All right, this is really bad. Um, I guess it's my bad for thunder waving. Dog, that sucks so much. Can I beat the Jolteon? Wait, chat, I don't think I can beat the Jolteon anymore. Um, okay. Wait, I was not supposed to lose Lantern there. I was really not supposed to lose Lantern there. Okay, I'm the max damage single beam is 100. Am I faster than this thing? I should be, right? I, I think I checked. I'm faster, they should be disabling me here, right? It did nothing. Okay. And now this is ice beam or single beam, right? The issue is I don't know how I beat the, the Jolteon. You know. Okay, don't confuse me. Extreme speed to ch I have to, I have to kill with Arcanine. It's the only it's my only out. It's my only out. It's, a, it's I think that's definitely thirty. That's at least that's like closer to thirty percent than anything. And I do minimum thirty four here. Okay, this should be uh, Jolteon. I'm gonna have to dodge one more crit chat. Oh, it goes Victory Bell. Why did I think it, Why did I think it goes Jolteon there? I don't have an electric type resist anymore. I don't know how I'm gonna win this. Sleep powder. Okay, this is always Leaf Blade. This is so bad. Don't crit me. Okay. Crits me. That's bad. Now I'm a range of Weather Bolt crit. What? Dude, this fight is so... It's gonna get the Quick Claw proc. Okay. Um, I actually don't want this to kill, but it's a pretty good roll to kill. Okay. Uh, how do I beat this Jolteon? I can sack Crobat, right? So it's Jolteon. It's not gonna be faster than my Crobat, right? Thunder to my... My Lodic doesn't kill... Oh, wait. I think my range it does. Um... Level 75 Crobat is always dead to Thunder. Thunder on my Arcanine. I have 230 HP left. Make sure my stats are all correct. 
I can sack Arcanine instead if I want, but Arcanine is one of my best mons. What is the roll? Um, the roll is 6.6% to kill. So I can greed if I want, go Arcanine, and go extreme speed for the two shot. It's static, which doesn't really matter. Arcanine is one of my best mons. It feels bad to risk it, but I, I think it's the correct play. I don't die to crit is the thing. I can't go back to Crobat because the point of Crobat was that I would sack it to get a Poison Fang off. I think I'm choosing to potentially sack- Don't crit me. Do not crit me. Do not crit me. Okay, I did 112. I have 118 left. Am I ever dead to Thunder? One out of 16 times I'm dead to Thunder here. Alright, Arcanine, we've been through a lot. Get the crit. Get the crit. One time. Didn't get it. Static. All right, Arcanine, I need you to dodge a crit, I need you to dodge a 1 in 16 roll, and then I need you to dodge para into full para. Okay, just come on, Arcanine, not like this. Oh, losing lantern's so bad. Survive? Okay, no para? All right, we made it now. Oh, God! Dragonite, that was so bad. That was only a couple crit rolls, too. That's why I went for it. <sighs> Alright, we made that with only Lantern dead, which is still really bad. Lantern was like... I don't know, like, how many... Like, Lantern was like one of the best mons in the split. I can't keep electric immunities in this game. We have gotten so screwed by Bright Powder before. These tempers and chances are miserable. So let's give it a shot here. First mon is easy, thanks to Gardevoir. Gardevoir's so good. I really hope I don't lose Gardevoir this, this, this fight. Or like, I hope I don't lose any mons. All right. It's raining. I have Trace Swift Swim, which would be cute, except for the fact that I have to switch out immediately. I go for Magical Leaf. Should be a one shot. It's 150% minimum, thanks to Kabuto's, Kabutops' relative fragility. All right, this is always Shadow Ball. Can never be anything else. Okay. So Fence Drop doesn't matter here. Okay, defense drop doesn't matter here. It just means that I take body slot. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything. Okay, and then I get to go for Endear. I have Lumberry. Okay, this should still bring me down to 1 HP. Okay, I'm Monkey. This channel likes his leftovers. I can reverse off for the kill. Okay. Now is the really spooky part, chat. Like the really, really, really spooky part. Cross shot, perfect, okay. Don't crit me, don't crit me. Okay. Low roll thunder would be really nice here because I could go twice with the uh, mirror coat then. Or just hit the mirror coat, dude. Dog, just hit the mirror coat. If I had more resources, I could have gone wob and encore here and then switched into fly on, but I don't have the resources for it. Don't crit me, that's fine. Just don't miss, Wobbuffet, please. Please do not miss. Okay, all right, all right, that's really good. It's really good. This is, ideally, this is Leech Seed, I think. Perfect. This is like a sub uh, toxic Leech Seed thing. This is always gonna protect me. Skip that. Just the double fails it. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. This is very little damage because my will is an honest to goodness tank. Not bad. This is Scopeland's Golduck, so it's like a little spooky. But Willard's Willard's here to be big. Hyper Voice. Surf again. That's excellent. I just didn't want to deal with combine stuff. Uh, if this doesn't get the defense drop or if it looks like a low roll, then I'm just going to double edge for the kill. Yeah, it's just a guaranteed kill after that. Alright, I was really worried about this gold duck, truthfully, so I'm glad. I went easily. I think when Yon fought this, it just like calm minded a bunch, which is really scary. Because he used Lantern to beat it, and I don't have that luxury. Because my Lantern's in the Shadow Realm. Alright. Uh, the thing is, I don't think it wants to Air Slash anymore. I think it wants to Dragon Claw now. Don't crit me? Okay. Is it worth recovering? It is, right? Ah, uh, this is actually risky. Wait, I actually think I messed up. Yeah, oh no. Ah, 
crit will kill me, right? Because I won't eat the berry now? Uh, do I dead? Am I dead to crit? No, no, no. Crit never kills me. Crit never kills me. The issue is I might flinch or para. Okay. All right, chat. Still, still doing all right. Having a little bit of dugong flashbacks. Max damage crit is 126. Okay, okay, good. Dude. Why? Why doesn't this ever work? No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Okay, I'm now dead to crit. Now absolutely dead to crit, unless I'm at 126. Air Slush's crit is a, is a, basically, if, I, if I'm gonna get crit, then I would lose Gardevoir here anyway. It's a 75% chance to kill me with crit. I think I have to go Guardi. If Milo loses, the run is dead. I have to risk a crit and Guardi. Gardevoir might actually die here. Dragon Claw? Dragon Claw? Dragon Claw? Don't crit me. Do not crit me. Gardevoir, you've been so good. Okay, I got the low roll. All right, chat. I have to go for Ice Punch here. I have a 90% chance of saving, saving my Gardevoir. I have a 10% chance of losing Gardevoir, who's been with us for so long and has been so good. <sighs> I love this Gardevoir. I love this Gardevoir. Wait, does it even kill? It does. I calped it. I definitely calped it. It's four times. Gardevoir, you are so good. Oh my god, that was a terrible plan. My Lodic has failed me twice in a row. I think that this Marvel scale plan kind of sucks. Oh no. Um. Um. Huh? Huh? I'm lost. I hope I never have to do that again because uh, it was very difficult. I'm not teaching Flash. Uh, I guess I can teach it to Gardevoir. It feels like wrong though. I don't know. Gardevoir, learn it. I could. Delete, I don't use light screen this fight, so I guess I can teach it to Gardevoir. It feels really wrong though. Gardevoir, I'm sorry for this one. I really don't feel good about this. I don't use light screen this flight though. You never technically need. You never technically need flash because you can just look at the guide. More water? Oh hell no! If I go up, I'm definitely. But I, I can't go left or right because it's supposed to be back here, right? All right, well. Um. So it's. Chat, I can't even. Ugh. It's not up, which means it has to be down. Uh oh. This is a joke, right? Chat, by the time I get to the fight, I'm not gonna remember what I have to do. That's why they call me Wolf Solves Puzzles World Champ Quick Baby. Can't wait to do it next time I have to come back here, which is gonna be soon. Alright, yeah. Whew, good thing that puzzle was so easy, or else my brain might have forgotten what I was supposed to do. I feel. Alright, give me your ability, baby! Swift so swim, that means it's time for you to go bye bye. Bye bye! This is what we call the bye bye button. 
Gengar comes in next, and I don't have any Pokemon that naturally outspeed and one-shot Gengar, but because I trade Swift Swim by leading Gardevoir, uh, that's no longer the case. So, bye-bye. Okay, Ink Bomb is fine. Crit doesn't do that much damage, just four times resist. Yeah. Uh, should be yeah, faster and... Oh, it's Recoil mode. Didn't know that. Okay, should be always get the one-shot with X-Scissor here. It's left over. Doesn't matter. This is a four times effective move coming off of the Caesar. This is my favorite Pokemon on the field, by the way. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, ordinarily we'd use Lantern or Quagsire to wall the Blissey, by the way, but we can't do that because they're both dead. <laughs> In case anyone's curious. Okay, not bad. I think it's going to. I believe it's going to counter here. Doesn't matter. It's leftovers, not Lumberry, which is nice. I'm gonna save Mux HP if I can, because just in case. Because we don't. Or should I save Wobbuffet's HP? Ah! Bro, what? Don't do that! Ideally, they would counter here. I don't think they're going to, though. Ah, they might. Yeah, this Blissey kind of spooks me. Once I get to 50%, I can switch Muck back in and kill it with Dunk Shot. Go for counter. Okay, actually did a decent chunk of damage. I believe it wants to counter now. It's at two six it's at two sixteenths, right? Just gotta keep that in mind. Yeah. My unfortunately my wall weapon is not faster, so I can't go for Encore here. But if we were to, if it's gonna count like yeah, so I should just mirror code again. It's the optimal move. Okay, this is 3 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenth. It's at, it's taken 3 sixteenths damage, is that about right? A little longer, yeah, that's about right, 3 sixteenths. Okay. Oh, I can't count the damage anymore, unfortunately. Uh, this first one is 68, let's see what this does. Crit would actually be fine, right, because it would die anyway. Oh, big damage. Because I want, I want Polyto to switch in first, not Kingdra. Okay. Not did you crit still. I wouldn't have access to Thunder on it anyway, even if I could get Blissey. Bye bye. Okay, this should bring in Politoed first, which is what we want. Okay, that's perfect. We are out of range of um, Earthquake. So we're yeah we're this is why we're paralyzed by the way. Because this we they can't hypnosis us. They shouldn't do a ton of damage, I think it does about 20%. You no, know, para is super nice. Defense drop is great here because it guarantees the two-shot. Um it's not needed though. Yeah, actually we just need to it guarantees the two-shot even if we get paralyzed once or twice. Well I'll just paralyze to dodge hypnosis because it's so bulky that it doesn't take that much damage for these mons. Um and I don't want to get hypnosis to hold. So yeah. Okay, it's really good no paras. Um, I need to be a little careful versus this Kingdra. If, this, if I get like Perma Parrot, I could be in some trouble though. So I, I really need to get at least one Hyper Voice off. Okay, DD is spooky. Uh, come on, Waylord. Okay, it's a big hit. Uh, let me just make sure I'm not in range of crit yet. This should be a two shot. Okay, that's a really good defense drop. Um, it's leftovers. I'm gonna quickly make sure that I'm not in two shot range. Crit does 180 for damage, which is strongest move. Okay. Uh, this actually is a little spooky, right? I have Guard of War. Wait, I have Guard of War. Okay, uh, Crypt now kills me. Wailord, come on, buddy. <laughs> you got this, right? Wailord, my bud? Oh, Wailord, you're so good. Okay, that actually gets kind of spooky. This is boring? Hey, bud, I'm sorry. There's actually, oh, okay, so, okay, I heard about this super cool feature. Um, it's kind of not super well known, so you might not have heard of it, so that's why, you know, I'm happy to help. Um, if you aren't, like, enjoying the content you're watching, you actually have this, like, really sick option of, like, watching something else or not watching it. It's, like, kind of this underused bug in Twitch. Um, but, yeah, it could be cool, like, depending on, it might, it might be fitting your, um, your specific position. Okay, we're using Ludicolo here because my Relicanth has zero attack IVs, which means that I don't one-shot with Head Smash even if I went to 77. So we're fake-outing here. There is a prediction. Um, this is not Leftovers, this is Lumberry, thankfully. 
So yeah, this is always Ice Beam, except it can always randomly pick Draw Run. The thing is that even though Draw Run is physical, Lapras is, uh, or even though it's super effective, it actually is about the same as Ice Beam, so it's not even a big deal if it Ice uh, Draw Runs. Uh, a non-crit here would be super nice, not getting crit, because that means that the... Okay, perfect, Freeze is fine. Okay, I could have been maybe a different berry, but it's fine. Um, head Smash always kills, thanks to the ship damage that I did. The Fake Out. Um, the nice thing about this is that I'm no longer reading Surf, so my Flying on gets extra HP. Okay, just need to that. Right you, okay. Uh, this is really supposed to be Thunder. Uh, it could be Surf. Uh, I don't think it could be Surf. There's no point in checking, though, because my play is the same. I was supposed to go 77 on Flygon here, that was a mistake. But it's, if it's Thunder, it doesn't matter. Thunder? Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't I think I think I was out of surf range there. Um, what we really would love to see here is Sing. Sing would be super nice. That's so good. Okay, that's really good because now I have a backup for Dragonite. That's super good. Yeah, so now if something goes wrong with Cradilly, I have a backup in, in Flygon because Flygon isn't gonna do a ton of damage to it. However, it does about 50%, and Cradilia is close to that amount as well, so it's just like nice to, in case something goes super off the rails, I now have a backup, which is another reason why I'm good in this fight. Huh, how much did Captain Kid? Alright, it's just Ice Beam. We don't care about getting Frozen here, um, because we have Lumberry. What I'm a little worried about is th Frozen into, uh, Thunder Para? Okay, uh, uh, not Thunder, not, cr so I'm not dead to Thunder Crit, which is really nice. Um, the bad thing is if Thunder crits here, though, it makes the next move really iffy on Starmew, so we just prefer not to get crit here, and it's all the same to this... Star, perfect. I still have a ton of HP left as well. It doesn't matter, I am Lumberry. It matters a little bit because um, Wailer might get sung now against the Vaporeon, um, but it should be okay. Hyper Voice is important here. We don't intend to beat the Starmie because we're now in crit range from this. Um, the thing is that Starmie is now forced to use Thunder again because it's the strongest move, right? Um, and the advantage of that is I can actually go back into Flygon. Okay, and now it wants to use Ice Beam again, right? So the reason I did this rather than just going, because I'm going into Ludicolo to finish this, but the advantage of doing this is that Ice Beam is weaker than Thunder, so I take slightly less damage, which is nice. Not a huge amount of like less damage, but in this fight, every little bit of like every optimization matters, right? So it's helpful. It also, yeah, like Thunder Crit would have left me with pretty low HP, but with this, like it just, the Crit doesn't actually the Crit matters a little bit, or not getting Crit there is, is good there. Um, I have no reason not to fake out, so I'm gonna go for it. This is Lumberry Star me, so it's not Bright Cut or anything. Uh, if I had Jigger Drain, it would have been slightly more optimal to just Jigger Drain there, but I don't. Flygon is slower than Starmie. Um, Starmie is very fast. I'm only able to speed it with Ludicolo because it's Swift Slim. So, Magical Leaf never misses. That's super good. Don't crit me. Okay. Is it about 70 damage? Or 69? I recover. I'm not dead to crit here. Not getting crit is good, though. Okay, don't get crit. That's really good. So what's nice about Creedily is I can always make sure I'm full HP, or not always, but I can make sure I'm full HP before I attack. This should be Vaporeon now. I wasn't convinced that Jigga Dream would kill, because it's very weak. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, if an accuracy drops me here, we're actually in gigantic trouble. Or if a... Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I made a big mistake. Um... I didn't realize it was that strong. Hang on. Um, all right, I'm going for Toxic, I think. Sing me. Just sing me, dude. Just sing. Just sing. That's so good. That is so good. Okay. Wow, wow. I thought I was going to sing the first time, which is why I thought this was safe, but I went for Muddy Water for whatever reason. Okay, uh, and now this isn't over yet. I still have to stall this thing effectively. I have no Lumberry, though, is the issue. Okay. Muddy Water does maximum 15%. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna die to this. I need to switch next turn, though. Yeah, I need to switch next turn. B damage, okay. So, Vaporeon's an issue. I could have 
dived, but Hyper Voice, I figured, did more damage. Perfect. That's really good. It doesn't even matter if Ludicolo ends up asleep here. That's why I gave Lumberry. It was definitely a little sus, I'm not gonna lie. It was definitely, like, lazy versus the Vaporeon. Yeah, so fake I should kill here after the poison damage, or with the poison damage. Okay. There is a slight problem here. There's Ludicolo switching in. Um, I don't know if... So it's, I'm being Ice Beam for the Ludicolo or Protect. Um, is that actually good? Perfect. All right. Should have played VGC. Bye bye. All right, that was a little sus. I'm not gonna lie. We're definitely calling it here for the day. Um, <laughs> yeah, my, uh, like next up is Archie, which is a big boss uh, boss fight. Oh boy, but that's not bad. Okay, we made it through Aquaha to Archie at least with only one death, which is Lantern. Her name is Lumberry. This is a super spooky fight. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, I'm super nervous. Oh, an item. Hope it's not Electrode. Oh, wait, now we're moving. Wait, that changes everything. All right, chat. Here we go. This, we could wipe here. Why the pre-damage? Let me explain my strategy to you. So the way that we're doing this fight is we're going to abuse certain facts about the Emerald AI. I'm gonna use Glalie, I'm going to explode. That will kill the Raikou and not the Suicune. However, the Raikou's faster than my Glalie um, and could in theory one-shot it with a Thunder crit. To prevent that, we're going to use a pre-damaged Mi Monkey. Mi Monkey is now baiting Thunder or Weather Ball. Both of them always kill. Because we're enduring, um, it doesn't matter. We're always going to one HP anyway. So we take the Suicune attack, which is Hydro Pump, which we're baiting always. Um, we're taking the Thunder from the Raikou or the Weather Ball, either one. We prefer Weather Ball so we don't get, um, so we don't get paralyzed because we might need our berry later. Um, and we're taking Glalie's Explosion that brings us to 1 HP. That's why Primeape is pre-damaged. Reggie Swim then comes in as does Dragonite. Uh, keep in mind Sweeping is still low HP and alive, which is Lumberry. Um, I'm not Swift Swim, so I can't use the Omastar strategy. Um, so the board position at that point is 1 HP Primeape and Relicanth versus very low HP Suicune and Dragonite. Um, both mods want to give you the kill on Primeape. However, what's interesting here is that if the AI has a KO with a move that is faster than, um, also let me just make sure that my Relicanth does enough damage to this Suicune, because I didn't actually confirm, but it, it really should. Like, Ancient Power should do 16%. Yeah, it's, okay, cool, it's guaranteed. Um, so, um, my Primeape is one HP. The AI, if it, sees, uh, if it sees multiple moves that kill, it's random between them. The, exam the exception to that is if a move has increased priority and kills, then it will go for that move. Dragonite has extreme speed, so by leaving the monkey on the field and using a Dur, I guarantee that turn two, it goes for extreme speed. I'll switch Omastar into the extreme speed to take it. It's battle armor and has high defense, um, so it never crits, and I will use Reggie Swim to KO the Suicune. So now the situation is, I have five Pokemon left, they have four. Um, they have Dragonite and Metagross on the field. I have Reggie Swim and um, Jisui on the field. Uh, and because of Swift Swim, my Reggie Swim will actually outspeed the Dragonite, and because the Dragonite is minus defense nature, Head Smash always one-shots. So the Metagross will protect, um, and the Dragonite will faint to Head Smash. We almost start with them, which will then always, because these two Pokemon are on the field, it always brings in Kingdra. Um, and I can Seismic Toss the, the Kingdra. Now, I've only taken one Head Smash recoil on the Dragonite, and um, the chip damage that I come in with this. What, what this allows me to do is it always baits exactly Octazooka from the Kingdra, which allows me to pivot um, on my own Kingdra into the Octazooka. Uh, I'm also always out of Earth Power range on the Metagross by being this exact amount of HP. Um, I can do this exact number calculation because um, I'm only taking chip damage and head smash recoil, which is never, it's always fixed. Um, uh, so when the AI selects a move, it, it doesn't roll crits when it's choosing which move to use. So if it, it, even, if it, if it, even if it actually would crit with a kill, or kill with a crit, it won't see that move. So that's why this is perfectly safe. Um, what are we exploding on that is so powerful? Raikou and Suicune. Um, anyway, at that, that point, Kingdra come in, it comes in and it will want to Octazooka my Reggie Tomb, so I can switch to my own Kingdra as I size up toss it a second time. Um, that puts it at exactly 130 HP because I'm 77 HP, and if my Kingdra gets accuracy dropped on the Octazooka, I dive because I'm beating Draco Meteor at that point, and I size up toss a third time. Um, otherwise, I just... Uh, double edge and probably, st and then I have to, then things get a little off the rails because it depends on what Metacross go does. Okay, Ogre. Okay, Ogre. <laughs> uh, do the world's, do the world's 2016 world champion mean anything to you, buddy? You're not going to like get angry or anything. Uh oh. 
What happens if you crit explosion? I cannot crit explosion because it's battle armor speed good. So this is pretty much, um, the early game is guaranteed, I think. But except for the, when the Metagross comes in and then everything goes off the rails. Alright, Archie. You could end my run. Um, I have intentionally brought no Pokemon that I need in the late game of this, or like in the end game for Elite Four, so that if things go off the rails, I can sack. Oh boy, these look like about the same power level of Pokemon, right? Perfect Ivy, Rain Boosted, Suicune, and Raikou, or Deli Board. All right, Explosion and Endure. Also, apparently the way that the AI works is that depending on which slot I explode on will change whether or not, like which, which Pokemon they switch in, which is why I've put Glalie intentionally in the left slot. So I Endure, this always makes ideally Weather Ball, but it could be Thunder to 50-50. Perfect, that's why I went to this HP number exactly, because now I keep my Lumberry, which could come in handy versus the Quillfish later. I go down exactly to one HP. I go boom. All right, Glalie, thank you for your service. We will try and make it so that none of your friends join you. Raikou always faints to this because of the level 77 and the Slug Scarf. Max damage on the Suicune is about 98, 99%. Thank you, Glalie. I hope it's not in vain. Also, an, an emerald, this doesn't kill, it's a good roll. Um, an emerald, like if I had, like let's say Suicune could see a kill in Glalie with Hydro Pump, which it didn't. Um, it could have Hydro Pump my incoming Relicanth, because the turn continues. You switch mid-turn, not end of turn like current game. So, yeah, that's why as well, Prime has to be such low HP. This is always Hydro Pump into the uh, Monkey slot, and this is always Dragonite. Yep, perfect. Just Hydro Pump into my Monkey. Uh oh! Am I gonna die? Nope, Endure. All right, Endure's broken. <sighs> Suicune is about 12, 13% left. Um, that's always a range of ancient power. A boost would be super nice, but not like essential here. I'm not planning on it, but it could be nice. This is always extreme speed into private because it sees a kill with it and it's higher priority. I'm going into battle armor, Omastar. This does two things. It takes the extreme speed really well and it baits in Metagross always, which is super important. Extreme speed with my super high base defense is not gonna do too much damage here. A little bit more than I expected, but I should still be out of range of everything. Give me some boosh. This always kills. Oh, I was kidding! Oh, I haven't had nature power boost like all game. Wait a second. Wait, hang on. I don't think. I think. My, wait, that was. That we're, hang on. We're off script, but in like a good way? Question mark? Um, okay. I have to wait now. Hang on. I wasn't planning on that. It shouldn't change this turn, right? Because it's still always. Oh, it's actually bad. Uh, that's actually really bad. Uh oh. Um, so that's bad because now the pre-damage that I intentionally got on my Reggie Swim is no longer enough. Because now, uh, but it doesn't, uh, yeah, now I can't switch into Kingdra guaranteed. Angie Power unfortunately does not kill even at plus one. Um, so I have to head smash again here. However, I can, I can Angie Power, right? Because, no, I should, I should go with the script. Okay, that's really good. All right, chat. We're going very off script here. Like super duper off script, but it's probably okay. This always kills, it killed even without the boosts. Uh, Metagross doesn't do anything here. I'm still out of range of Metagross. So the question is, is it gonna earth power me? <sighs> which is spooky. I do have almost Star, which is identical typing, but plays a very different role. Wait, if this goes well, if this turn goes correctly, I think I might've actually moved. Protect Metagross. Yes! That's so good, that's so good. It's faster? Wait, it shouldn't be faster than me. It's faster than plus one Relicanth? Wait, hang on. It doesn't, okay, it's, it's fine, but it's not fine. Um, Why is Kingdra faster than my Reggie Swim? According to this, oh, it's way faster. I was looking at the wrong Kingdra. Oops. <laughs> uh, well, thanks to the special events boost, I was never dead there, but, uh, uh, yeah, it was a little spooky. Okay, uh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> a little spooky there. Uh, but it was still at the, it was, yeah, it was still very likely to be on. It's fine, it worked out okay. But now I need to be, continually be careful here because now I'm plus special defense. The question is, do I die to Quillfish Hydro Pump? I really hope I do. Hydro Pump min damage is 102. Ooh, and so good special defense. Okay, yeah, so Quillfish is forced to Hydro Pump me here because the, so the reason we're being qu uh, careful around Quillfish is that the Quillfish has Destiny Bond. So if I were to do something wrong here, if I were to do something wrong, then uh, I would lose Slowbro to Destiny Bond. However, it's forced to use um, 
It's forced to use de it's forced to use hydro pump because it sees a kill with it. So it can never destiny bond because it's forced to hydro pump. Protect. Perfect. All right, this should be hydro pump into quilt into the kingdra spot. Yep. Four times resist. And this is a guaranteed kill. All right. And this is that was now we just have this stupid protect metagross left. Crit Earth Power does maximum 144. I am not in range, so I can go for Surf and Surf, because now it's a single target move. Okay, no Protect, that's fine. Earth Power into my Kingdra, Crit never kills me. Well, let's find out, chat. Okay. <laughs> okay, Metagross said you thought I was done. <laughs> Crit drop. Good thing I calc that. Let's go. One death Archie. And it was only, it was boom. Let's absolutely go. Oh my god, Reggie Swim was so good there. Wait, Reggie Swim was so good there. The ancient power boosts were so good. And then the Kingdra yawned me, which is definitely a little, uh, like, yeah. Uh, but that was literally like best case scenario. Archie, let me explain it to you, buddy. Red is red. Kyogre is blue. I love this cutscene so much. <laughs> Tell me if there's a better cutscene than all of Pokemon. <laughs> it's raining? Yes, what we wanted. It's raining too hard? Uh oh. <laughs> you guys did what we did? How dare you? Uh oh. Hey, buddy. Wait, you're dead. Hold on. Uh oh. The reanimation jutsu? Uh oh, Steven. Time for our, time for our epic showdown. Wait. Chat? Um. I don't want to freak you out here, but I've noticed something very interesting. You may have noticed it too. If we take a closer look at Steven. So we thought that the front was the eyes, right? Chat, don't freak out. <clears throat> don't freak out, chat, okay? I, I just want to let you know that I'm going to show you something spooky. If you're a child, I recommend that you leave now. Um, I cannot be responsible for what you are about to see. Uh Huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Steven, buddy, uh, no, no, we've all, we've, we're cool, right? We're, we're cool. <laughs> Steven, 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 we're cool, right? Steven, 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 we're cool, right? You guys are seeing this, right? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Look. Look. So Steven died earlier in the run, right? We all we all saw that. All of this Pokemon wipe, this is a Nuzlocke. If you die in the game, you die in real life, right? That's how it works. And he's still in the game. So this is this is Giratina possessing Steven? All right, all right, all right, all right. We're just gonna have to move on from this, but don't forget, if I disappear randomly, we know who did it. I, I'll never be able to unsee it for the rest of my life. Uh, before I die, I'll put Whaley in the back of the party since it's cheating. Instead, I can't use it anymore. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! That's so mean! Uh oh. Dog, on guard! Alright, what are the moves in this thing? You know what? I don't care. Goodbye, homie. They can't boom, it's the only one. And that's a choice band. Okay, I'm Lumberry, right? Okay, all right. Okay, didn't like that. No, dog, you suck. Can't you tell it's a global catastrophe and you're over here trying to challenge me? Could you all feel that no, by the way? Cause like, I felt it. But honestly, Glalie, you you were honestly exactly what we needed. I couldn't ask for a better mod here. I will take your silk scarf though. Thank you for your service, Glalie. We didn't use you much, but when you were if somebody told me, hey, Wolf, you're going to beat a Raikou and a Suicune with a Glalie, before I met you, I would have said, no way. You're, you're yanking my chain. But now, I believe in every day of the week. Did you do it? Yes. What did it cost? Glalie. Goodbye, Glalie. Rest, rest in paradise.